Hello, welcome to another video and one that I know a few people have been waiting for and I am sorry that it's taken me so long but what I hope you're excited for as well, it is time to announce the 2024 round of Polathon! Woo! Welcome to Polathon 2024. If you are new here, hi, um, and don't know what Polathon is, Polathon is a readathon that I host every year, have been for a few now, themed around the polar landscapes, inspired by my love of polar fantasy as a subgenre. So in years past there have been many different prompts surrounding snow, ice, polar, etc. Um, and for the last couple of years we have made it a charitable event as well, which we will be continuing with. That is the basic premise of what Polathon is, so welcome, I hope you join us. Let's get into talking about what this year's round is all about. So, Polathon this year will be taking place as it always does for the first full week of February. Every year it's the first full week, so the first Monday of February is when Polathon will always begin. So this year it is the 5th to the 11th of February. Monday the 5th through to Sunday the 11th of February. One whole week where we will be reading for the polar bears. The theme for this year's round is Polathon the Snowball Fight. I am quite excited by this idea. It's been a while since I've made Polathon team based, so I'm excited to see how that will go. How the snowball fight will work is for every 100 pages you read, you earn one snowball. The team at the end of the week with the most snowballs wins. However, there are other ways to earn snowballs as well. If you read a polar fantasy book, so a snowy fantasy, a fantasy with icy magic set in the Arctic or the Antarctic or somewhere polar, um, and a fantasy. If you read a polar fantasy, you will get a bonus snowball. You will also get a bonus snowball for completing your team's prompt. So with that in mind, I should probably introduce you to the teams. I am very happy to have two of my dear friends joining me on the Polathon mission this year. We have got Beth from Beth Bartholomew Books Nest, wherever you know her from. We have got the lovely Beth joining us and she is captaining one of our teams this year. Her animal mascot is the Arctic Fox and her team's prompt is books with blue covers. So if you join Beth's team and read a book with a blue cover, you will also get an extra snowball. So if you read a 200 page book with a blue cover, you would get two snowballs for the 200 pages and one snowball for the blue cover. If that book also happened to be a polar fantasy, then you would get an extra snowball for that as well. And then facing off against Beth, we have Steph. And I love the fact that it rhymes. It's Steph versus Beth. Steph is, of course, from Steph Loves. And Steph will be heading up Team Reindeer. I've never done reindeers for Polathon before, but she's heading up Team Reindeer. If you choose to join Steph's team for the snowball fight, your bonus prompt is books with an S on the cover. So if the title has an S in it, you're set for a bonus snowball there. So we've got the Arctic Foxes, we've got the reindeers, we've got Beth, we've got Steph, blue cover or S on the cover, but I really wanted to be a part of it this year. <laughs> As the like overall host, I feel like I very often just don't include myself in a team, but this year I'm doing it. I'm having a team too. So I am gonna be heading up Team Polar Bear, naturally, because for the polar bears. So if you wanna join me on Team Polar Bear, my bonus prompt will be foil on the cover. So we've got three very different bonus prompts, but also quite easy to achieve. The extra bonus prompt for everyone of a polar fantasy and 
one snowball for every hundred pages you read. And that is how you will collect your snowballs throughout the week. There will be a Google form linked down below where you will, whenever you are submitting your snowballs, just select what team it's for and how many snowballs you are submitting. That's it, I'm not gonna make it too complicated. It's just fun, you know? I'm not gonna make it complicated just the team and the snowball so we can see who wins at the end. I have made a little graphic with all of that information on it here. So we have our three teams and how you obtain your snowballs, what prompts you have to fill to get your bonus snowballs, that is here. And I have also made this little tracker. I've only made the tracker go up to 15 snowballs. If you know that you're gonna read more than that, do it again. Um, I didn't want to fill it too much and then people who don't read as much as others feel like it's unachievable or whatever because the whole point is to read and have fun and if you don't read as much your participation still counts, your snowballs still count, so we would like as many people as possible to join, of course. And as always with Polothon, there is the charitable element to it as well. As you will have just seen on the graphics, the aim of the game again is to donate to Polar Bears International. I have the Just Giving page set up um, and linked down below so you can donate straight through Just Giving. That way it all goes straight to the charity. It doesn't come through me. It's a fully transparent site so you know that your donations are safe and go into the right place. The link is down below. My aim is to donate one pound for every snowball that I acquire. So every hundred pages will be a pound being donated. Every polar fantasy or foil on the cover book that I read will be a pound. Any snowball I collect will be a pound to Polar Bears International. I would love to encourage you to do the same. I know that finances can be tough and I know that that's not always possible for everybody so of course the donation is 100% optional if you want to participate but you can't donate that is absolutely fine you are at least spreading the word joining the community being aware but the option is there I would love for us to raise some more money for the polar bears we've done so well in years past and I'm so proud of what we've achieved with the donations to Polar Bears International. It would make me very happy to see that little donation ticker going up. I think information-wise though, that is all there is to it this year. I've tried to keep it really simple and really open to anyone who wants to participate. So the Polar Fantasy prompt is optional. You'll get an extra snowball for your team, but it is optional. Any of the prompts are optional. The aim of the game is really just read. So 100 pages of anything will get you that snowball. 100 pages of a comic, manga, novel, poetry, audiobook as well. Um, I would say usually 100 pages in an audiobook equates to like a couple of hours, but I don't know, maybe like try and track progress with audiobooks, but audiobooks count as well if you can roughly work out what 100 pages is. And in terms of rules, I don't necessarily think there are any. The question that normally comes up with readathons is, oh, can I double up? The whole point of this is to double up. So if you can do a polar fantasy and your bonus prompt and read a bunch of pages, you get more snowballs. That's kind of the point. So yes. When is it? 5th to the 11th of February. Graphics are linked down below. Your hosts are linked down below. The Google form to submit your snowballs. I nearly called them polar bears. Uh, the Google form to submit your snowballs is down below. Um, there is no registration, so don't need to worry about that. No need to worry about remembering a unique username or anything. Honestly, I am keeping this super duper simple and easy for us to just attack it because ultimately the priority is having fun, reading a lot and raising money for polar bears. <laughs> Um, as before with anything I've done for Polathon, any of the ad revenue generated from this video will go to the Just Giving page um, and any donations made, like if I do sprints and anyone donates, it'll go to the Polar Bears. Um, I would encourage if you were going to do that though, donate straight to the Just Giving page because a higher percentage of your donation would then go to... Polar Bears International. If you donate through YouTube, they take a cut. So 
donate through the link and then it goes straight to the charity so that's all good. There will be reading sprints throughout the week. I don't have a schedule or anything for that just yet. There will be sprints. We will be reading lots together. I will not be daily vlogging this year. I have daily vlogged every polathon I think. Um, I will not be daily vlogging it this year. I'm gonna do one big weekly vlog for polathon. It just gives me more time to read, takes that pressure off just a little bit. And again any ad revenue from that vlog will also go to Polar Bears International as well. I think that is just about everything. So thanks for watching me babble on for 15 minutes about what you've got to expect. Um, I hope you are excited to participate. I am excited to kick it all off again um, and let me know which team you fancy joining. Are you leaning more towards Beth and her blue covers, Steph and her S covers, or me and my foiled covers? I'm excited to join in for myself. And although it is a competition, like who wins the snowball fight, it's all in good spirits, you know? No trash talk. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for listening to me. I do hope you will join us. Um, let me know if you will. And I will see you there. But before that, I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye.